Um, hello YouTube. I figured that since I haven't done a video in a bit of a while, I would just, um, well my last video was um, on my DVD collection, but um, figured I'd do a video for you screen fans out there, since that's mainly what my channel is about. Um, I just want to tell you that I'm not just interested in Scream, I'm interested in all horror films. Like, if you check out my DVD collection video, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, I figured I'd um, do a video on all my Scream mask, starting off with the other Farmwell designs. But um, before September and October come, because that's um, mainly what I'm going to be doing that time is getting a lot of Scream stuff. A lot of DVDs. I'm also going to try to find um, a mask to modify to be a chrome skull mask, and a mask to modify to be a baby face mask. But um, yeah. So I figured I'd go ahead and do V on my mask before I did a shopping craze for Scream stuff. I'm also be looking for other fun world designs like these ones and this one. Oh, this one's a plastic mask that I got for Christmas. So I have my eyes on a vinyl one without the thing on its face, a white vinyl one on eBay. And I'm also getting a um, red vinyl one. Should be coming in the mail sometime soon. Doing a trade with somebody and they should be shipping the stuff out sometime soon. And, um,. It should only take about a day or two for that stuff to get here because I live in North Carolina and he lives in Virginia. So, we don't live very far apart. So, this was a Christmas present. This one I got at a um, CVS, I think it was. CVS or Walgreens. And um, it's like a reshoot. It's got thin some parts, thick in some parts. And the eye mesh ain't very good. Like, well... It's all right, I mash like you can still see my fingers through. But what I was talking about is that it's not glued in well. But it's got a strap and stuff inside of it and a little sponge pad on there. And I really like the hood. Like the hood, I like a lot. You know, it's a different hood. I would actually like to see a hood just like this on a scream mask. Cause I really like this hood a lot. I'll probably try to get some more mask of this design because I really like this design. And next we have a Fearsome Faces. Um, this is a recent Fearsome, not an older one. Tagged Skull Mask. If I can find another one, he's Skull Mask, I'll buy it and untag it because I really like this mask a lot. Not a fan of the hood. You know, because it's like a weird hood, but it's still decent. If it was made of a different material, it would be better. Like... This material can hold up better than the other material. It's thin and stuff, but it won't rip as easily, but it's uncomfortable. But, um, I've got to show the stamp on this one, though. On this mask, Easter Unlimited Ink Made in China TD. And this one's got that rain rainbow fashion of Easter Unlimited Ink then Made in China. But this mask came out in 2010, so it's not an older one. I'm having to speak quietly now because it's like 12 o'clock, so, yeah. Um, here we got two tagged plastic mask, uh, costume foam mask. Um, this one's really little, like, this is a size comparison. But this one's for like a child's costume. Found it on eBay. Told my mom about it and she got it for me for Christmas. These two I got for um um Christmas. Um here are the bleeding mask classic and the zombie version. They both still work. They've not got a lot of blood in them, so We've all seen these before. There's nothing special. I got these just to have them in my collection. Um, next, we have a paper mache can be that was given to me by, by my friend Marcus. Um, it's got the little sparkle strap on there. 
It's got the little extra paint there, like that one scene in the movie. Um, you wear like an invisible mask hood underneath of this. Um, next, this one is a unique mask. Um, this one here, I got this at a CVS pharmacy, and I replaced the eye mesh in it. So, hold on. It had like really thin eye mesh before, so I went, took that out, and hot glued and latex glued. Yeah, I used some spare latex paint I had. I probably should have just used regular latex because if you get the lighting just right, you can see that through it. But it's, but it's got better eye mesh on it. But um, what's so unique about this mask is um, when someone's wearing this or you put it on a foam head, it looks just like the mask that Gail Weathers wore in Scream 4 when she was at that party and she was hiding the cameras around and she wore this as a disguise this looks just like it when it's worn I'm not even kidding I th and I honestly think that they um use several masks in Scream 4 not just the deluxe edition and the reshoots and the stampless chins ones I think they also used ones like this that are just your regular ghost face mask with the Eastern Limit ink stamp. Like what I just mentioned, the mask that Gil Weathers wore. There's no way that was a reshoot because the reshoots had those short stubby chins. And the ones she was wearing had a chin like this, like your normal ones. And um, it wasn't a um, deluxe edition because it had the regular hoods. And the same as the one at the very end when the um, killer, I'm not going to reveal who it was because I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it yet. If you haven't seen it yet, then you're an idiot and you need to go see it now. No offense. But, um, anyways, no offense. Doesn't mean to be offensive or anything. I'm just saying you need to see it. But at the end, when um, the killer revealed itself, um, it was wearing a regular mask with a regular hood. And there's no way it was a deluxe edition or anything like that because, I don't know, it just didn't look like one at all. Like it had the regular hood and it just looked like your normal ghost face mask you would buy. Um, next. Um, let me find the other one. Hold on. It's here somewhere. Oh wow. I'll find it eventually. Um, wait, is that it? No. Well, here are the um, Walmart masks. I have another Walmart tagged one somewhere. This one here was originally the one I had tagged, but I took the tag off and re-tagged my other one because this one looks a lot like a Fearsome Faces to me. I did hear that they reused some of the Fearsome molds for the um, new mask, but I seriously doubt that. But don't this look like a Fearsome to you? Maybe even a little bit like Fantastic. I don't know. It's Fantastic a little bit more flat than this, but um, this one's one that I repainted orange because orange is my favorite color. Um, from where I had this display, the chin is really bent like a lot, but that's okay. Oh, here's that other one. Yeah, it's weird how all the Walmart ones were totally different, like. This is the one I had originally untagged, as you can tell because the hood's ripped up in some spots, but this one's like really shiny and looks a lot like Scream 1, whereas this one's got that matte white color and it looks like a fearsome faces. And um, also for the Walmart mask, I modified this one to be orange, but I also modified this one to look kind of like a white hooded fantastic now it doesn't have the shape of in fantastic you know I repaint the whole thing I did this a while ago so the paint job ain't all that good and the eyes I messed around with the eyes and tried to get that thinner cut like a fantastic will with the paint around it and stuff and the triangular nose is not all that great but not that bad moving on
here is another mask I modified. It was a 2010 ghost face mask to look like a really old and rotted one. It's bloody and stuff, burnt up. It's got that green tone to it, that greenish yellow tone. And where I had it displayed, the chin got really bent. I'll try to fix that and also the orange one sometime soon. Wow, I got two piles of ghost face masks on both sides of me. This one's a um, costume mask, a very unique one that I got out of Walgreens. It's um, a crappy mask, but I like it a lot. It's got, it's different than all the other ones, but I hate the eye mesh though. It's like super thin and it's falling out, but I might replace that. I don't know. I mean, look at that. Pretty much all gone. But, um, the eyes are unique because they're like really close together and they're like really skinny up here and really fat down here. The nose has got a bit of a different shape too. It's like really triangular and stuff. Now, as you see, it's got that bridge painted on there. And it's like, goes like really fat down here and really skinny down here. And it's smaller than your other mask. And it is Fun World. I know that as a fact. It's got Eastern Limited Ink made in China under there. And the packaging that I bought in said Fun World on it in several places. So this is a Fun World mask. It's just a cheap one, but I like it because it's unique. Here we have the 2010 zombie mask, and um, hopefully after a while I can get my hands on a um, collector's edition zombie mask, but I have an untagged one and a tagged one. And it's weird how the paint's different on, bo on both of them. So... There's those two. Here we have a Scarecrow version. This one is a unique one because at Walmart they sell it their own mask and stuff. Like, it's still a Foam World mask, but they make it differently from the other ones and it's cheaper and stuff. And this one I bought with a costume. And the hood, I'm guessing, is like your other ones, but the face is totally different. Like, it's a vinyl face instead of the plastic with the burlap on there. It's a vinyl face with sculpted burlap on there. I would prefer the plastic ones with the um, burlap glue to it because it looks more like a scarecrow. But this is still really unique. And I like the sculpt. There's no stamp under the chin because of the sculpted burlap. But it is fun world. And, um, yeah, I really like the shape of it, too. Like, it's got a nice shape to it. Next, I'll show my T-Stent mask. And this one here looks a lot like a fearsome. Like, it's not a fearsome, but when I bought it on eBay, the guy said it was a fearsome. And this one I got, I paid $50 for it. I think it was a fearsome, but anyways. And this one I got for $15. Got the noses. To, one thing I don't like about T-Stamp masks is it's got those giant holes. And the, um, the eye mesh is alright. But what do you expect? Even though these are older ones, it is better though. But they are, have the T on the stamp but I really do like these a lot they're the oldest mask I had to my collection I'll explain more at the end about the fearsomes and stuff but these ones are not fearsome faces they're like the between assy and screaming fearsome stage so who knows what tags these could have had they could have had fearsome tags or I seen screen tags, but they were not used in any of the movies, and neither were any of these. We'll get more into the more rare mask up next, but um, these are pretty rare too. I 
last year for Halloween, they did release more tea stamp masks, but they weren't like these ones. These ones are rare, the original run of these. But, um, yeah, moving on. Here we got, like, the rarest mask in my collection, which is the metallic blue ghost face mask tagged. I just love everything about this mask except for the hood because it's quite small and it's really thin. Sword has that sparkle effect to it, which this material I like to use for eye mesh, but it's like really thin stuff, so it's perfect for eye mesh. But um I'm not going to destroy this hood. But this is the only metallic mask I had in my collection. I do plan on picking up a red and purple and the green versions, but I have to find them first that aren't a ridiculously high price. But it is tagged. I can't remember how many of these they made each. I think it was a thousand for each color. I could be wrong, but I think that's I think that's how many there were. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Got purple one tag. Next, we have another rare one to my collection. I got this from my friend Marcus. And it's a repainted reshoot mask, which this year I do plan on picking up more reshoots, but they're going to have a regular hood, so this is a nice one for my first reshoot. I did repaint the mouth, though, because it had like places ripped up on it, but... It's still a very nice mask, even though it is repainted. It is very nice. And I really like it with the long hood. And it's also got, like, the cape on there. It's got the really big hood on there. And I really, really, really like this mask a lot. One of my favorites in my collection. Like I mentioned before, the reshoots had that short stubby chin. Each and limited ink made in China. So there's that. Now, I do have the tag for this. He had untagged it, and when he shipped it to me, he um, included the tag, so thank you for that. And also, thank you for the um, K&B mask that you made for me, Marcus, and also the two hockey masks. Next up. This one isn't rare. I just forgot to show it earlier. It's just a 2010 tag. Next up, our more recent ones, but are still not all too rare, but still ones to get, are the um, Stampless Chin Ghost Face Mask. I got one tag, one untag. I bought both of these tagged, but, you know, since they're not ultra rare, I decided to untag one. Same for my um, next ones I'll be showing, but um, I'm kind of confused if they um, had used masks like these in movies. I think they did. But, um, my friend Marcus had gotten a deluxe edition, which is, like, almost exact to the ones used in the movie. It's not screen use, but it's just like the ones used in the movie. And it was nothing. Like, it wasn't like this. Like, it was like a regular ghost face mask, but it was, like, perfect. Like, no spots and perfect shape and everything. But I'm letting you know in the comments that they use masks like these. Like, no matter if I had the big hood or not, or a hood like this, or the deluxe hood, or both, let me know if they, um, use ones like these. But they have the, um, the stamp on the inside, and they also have the, um, strap on the inside. Not even want to bother reading it, because I didn't feel like it. Dang one. But the last ones I have... One of my favorites to my collection. Or at least my favorites so far. They are my Assian Screams. Both of these were when I bought they were tagged. But I um untagged this one. Probably, I sort of regret untagging it now, but I still have the tag up there. So I could retag it if I had the um little things for it. So I might try to attempt retag it later on. Because I have my eyes on another Assian Scream on eBay. And uh, I know some of you that are probably just heard me say that and are going on eBay right now to look for it. Not really to 
make me mad or anything, but because you want one, well, it is a very damaged one. So, yeah. But both of these are, like, totally different. Like, this one's, like, really big and stuff, and this one's really thin, and... This one's like really soft and flexible. This one's a little bit more hard and stuff. But they both are as hand screens. Both were bought tag and they both have the little texture like the as hand screens are. And these ones were like some of the ones used in the, the movie Screen 3. So, yeah. I guess I'll keep these up here as I talk about more stuff to come screen wise. Um. I'm not really into like collecting like the Halloween decoration stuff like some of you are. But I do collect some decoration stuff, but I'm not like into like the hardcore screen collector stuff. Pretty much all the screen stuff I collect is mainly the mask cuz that's really my favorite thing. And some figures and stuff. Like I like customizing figures and and the movies and stuff, and that's pretty much all I collect is mainly the mask and like knives and stuff. So I'm not really into like the rare VHS stuff and the rare posters and stuff, but that's okay. At least I think that's okay, and it's okay if you're into collecting it, that. And um, just the mask is what's for me. The mask and the figures and the movies. And, um, also, like I mentioned before, Halloween is coming soon, and stuff is coming to stores, and mainly what I'm looking for is Scream stuff. And, um, after October is over, I'll probably do another video like this, showing off all the masks. And, um, I have my eyes open on eBay for some fearsome faces and some fantastic faces. I probably won't ever find a Fantastic because they're so rare, and when you do find one on eBay, it's like $300, which sucks. Yeah, I probably won't ever be able to get one, but I do have my eyes open for some fearsome faces. And um, I might do a trade with a friend of mine for a fearsome faces scream version for... I don't really care which version it is. I, I mean, I don't care what fearsome it is. I don't care if it's a Randy that death scene, fun world stamp, EU stamp, MK stamp, whatever. I just want me a fearsome faces. I don't care what kind. And um, if you do offer me an offer in the um, comments, I probably won't be able to accept it because I won't be able to afford the price because. This is a little embarrassing, but I'm 13, and I don't have a PayPal account or anything like that. I have my mom, and that's it, unfortunately. I don't have a job, I don't have a PayPal, and I don't really have that much money in my wallet right now. <laughs> but, um, as you know, if you're my age and you're into collecting, when you're around my age, you know how tough it is to get this stuff. So... Yeah. So I can't really get all the fearsomes and stuff right now because when they do pop up on eBay, it's really expensive. So when I do get older, I will start looking harder and harder for fearsome faces and fantastic faces. And hopefully I have the money, I can accept some of your offers for those masks and maybe some metallic blue mask and even some of these masks, because I really like these. And I'm also looking for the Deluxe Collector's Edition mask. I've not got any of those yet. I've been meaning to get one. And I'm getting ready to go on eBay right now as soon as I finish this video. I'm still looking for, um, I forgot what it's called. Was it the Post Scream 3 mask? I don't know, the other ones that were used in Scream 3. I forgot the name. If you know it, tell me in the comments. Or probably ask my friend Marcus. He'll, he'll know. He knows everything there is to know about Scream Mask. But um, I won't stop collecting. No matter what my parents say about it. Because they hate this stuff. But they can get over it. And I think I have a really decent collection for a kid my age. 
and with the type of parents I have. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's I know it's really long, and I'll stop babbling. See ya.